season six playoffs. We're into the final four, lads, and listen to that bloody crowd. Oh, they are stoked for this one. These war heroes are finally returning, yes. Famous crews, one from Mulligan, the other one fresh from the victory tour after humiliating the Wood Elves, not once but twice. You've got to love those lads, you actually got to love them there. Let's get out to the stadium and see what transpires today. Are you ready? I hope so. Finally, the match every supporter has been waiting for. This is the one. Okay, don't get me wrong. They're looking forward to the other one, too. Oh, that is promising to be a minimum of four kills. Mind you, this one might be you know, just about as bad anyway. Yep, you see it on the board there. Your hero, everyone's bloody hero. Okay, someone's bloody hero in there. I suspect it's the, it's the sister's hero there, at least anyway. Well, provided he wins this game, he will be there. Yep, you see him. He's right there. Yep, the man himself, Griff, is on the field. He is going to see. Is it possible for one star player to carry an entire team all the way to a piece of silverware? You know, the bets are actually saying that's a possibility this season. Well, they got past the Wood Elves. But just fucking cowards that lot was. And we are off and running. And yes, look, they even get a free reroll. And his name is John C. No, 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 no. It's Griff. Griff. Oh, God. Someone's going to have to make one for that one. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. They might be ready for next season. All right, here we go. Fenders on the way. The Bretonians and Griff are off to do what no one thought this team could do at all at the start of the season. Even their own coach didn't think they could do this at the beginning of the season. He's dead serious about that, but here they are. Final four after no less than 22 games. 21 regular season. One playoff game. Here they are playing game 23. And yes, they are still here. You can see that, you know, the peasants have actually acquired a couple of skills. They actually have a semblance of... Actually, there's a semblance of filth. But, you know, yeah, I was going to think, you know, confidence. And my point is proved. And get off my lawn. Yep, yeah, right there. Ah, come on. Is he even going to waste a reroll on that? Why? Just Why? See if you put the boot in. Yeah, I'll allow that. I broke your stupid crap, moron. Yeah, well, it's only a stun, unfortunately. Look at this. Yeah, he's got the peasant getting the ball. What the hell? This is called a generous coach. <laughs> Absolutely a very generous coach. He cares for this team. He is amazed they have gotten this far. He's hoping they can go even further. For the Union. Unfortunately, he's facing a team that also has had a long, brutal journey trying to get here. And we stress brutal. Uh, what, uh, there's not many of the original players left on this team. And what is left of the original players, several of them have decreases. Not just armor decrease, AG increases, sanity decreases, libido decreases. You name it, it's all decreased. It's a typical team. It really is the fact they've got this far. Even this coach doesn't believe it. But yes, here he is. Final four through the hooligan division. At one point here, fun fact, it's a compliment to the coach. He had no less than five loners on the field in one game. Five. Here he is. Unbelievable. Quick little review of the team here. You can see he does have one apothecary. But yeah, you can see... There's the wizard of all things, both carry a spare reroll just in case something goes wrong. And yeah, everything else can go generally wrong all day here. So here we go. This is the plan. Who knows if it's actually a good plan or not. 
Oh, God, he's fouling again! Do it! Yep! Yeah. And that there is called the KO! Yep! Yeah. Out he goes! Good boy, sweet on! And the broadcast booth is pumped! Now everyone's going, why did they call that? It's a loner! Call Smollett cool does not call loners. Fun fact, that one. Well, now Kislev has a bit of a problem here. Then again, they had a bit of a problem getting here. Mind you, loan is not, not something new here for Ra Ra Rasputin. It's all season they've had to deal with like, bringing in the loaners. Well, can they just even this up here? It's too quiet here. It is too quiet. Well, it's only a stun, though. And the peasants, hopefully, well, their layers of dirt are impressive. There's five of them in the sidelines. This should be Kislev's big, and I mean it, big problem here. They don't have any reserves. Like I said, they, it, they got here at Final Four. No one is more surprised than their own coach, but it's also a compliment to their coach there. As you all saw on the cast there, he never quit. Never gave up, never quit. Played it literally to the last turn. This is his reward. He gets the Final Four. Alright, there's a lesson in there for you lads, you never ever give up, you always just keep rolling, because you never know what's going to get added to you. How about a fisting, that's always a great thing to be added to you. Comrade? <laughs> oh well, it's time to foul, one more time, yep, yeah, one more time, this time with feeling. Is he dead yet? No. Wait, he isn't dead, Shy surprise! I know it is a surprise there, so far though, dirty player. He's got three for three, but he has been ejected. Oh dear. Well, Paxton now finally does there. Yeah, what's that? Unfortunately, Paxton needs to be doing just what this lad needs to be doing here. They need to be removing players, not just chaos. They need to be removing players due to the five player extra storage he's got in turnip supplies. I'm serious. Push me, push you. Absolutely not what he wants there. He really needs the takedown. But Ra Ra Ross between there, the kids left, slaying Slot, and actually being ultra conservative with the rerolls. He's waiting for that magic moment. No idea if that's even going to show up or not. Meanwhile, yep, let's hear it for Dirt and Mud. It's doing a great job. Absolutely great job. Well, the Bretonians, they're still celebrating. Yep. Yeah. Shame about that. However, that seems to work very nicely there. I want to dance. What a lovely day! Yeah, it is a lovely day. It is an absolutely lovely day. <laughs> lovely day for a KO. Now, most other games, people will be complaining here about KOs. Not this match. Uh, the Bretonians and Ref absolutely love the KOs because that gives them numerical advantage in this game. 100% that is what they're banking on. Sheer peon power. It's not an exaggeration. It literally is that's what they're banking on this game. Numbers. 100% absolutely dirt, filthy, peasant, roll around the mud. Fill up you with turnips numbers. That is what they're going on. And so the Bretonians, unfortunately, well, they got to stop be beating things on here. Clouds of death. Well, that's not a cloud of death, all right. In fact, that's a bit of a problem. Fortunately now, Paxton, hopefully, can keep three players preoccupied. There's the problem. As you can see here, Frenzy without Juggernaut, he can't get through the Fend. This is becoming an enormous ability. It really is. For such a, quote, comedy team. Nobody expected this. Someone in the NAF take notes here. I think someone has come up with a cunning plan here. What do you expect? It's a team of Baldricks and Griff. Really, it's a team of Baldricks. <laughs> it really is. Who would have thought Baldricks could take it the whole way? The Shadow. The Shadow thought he could take it the whole way. All right. So that didn't work. But I was working. I don't care if you're working. Oh dear. And get off my lawn. Well, that is the third KO of the day there, and that is doing a remarkable job of just getting things out. Yeah, waiting for Griff. Absolutely, the sister is waiting for him right there. Can he make it? It'd be a hell of a day in the brothel if he does. 
He's carried a team this far. Is he gonna carry the finals? Oh, good lord! I broke your stupid crap, moron! Well, that is a huge one right there. Absolutely brutal. And yeah, you can see the hearts are pounding in the broadcast, but he doesn't even apothecary it. Doesn't even apothecary it. It's only a badly hurt. You have to think about it. I hate to say it, that's what you need to apothecary. You need the body. Now he's out for the game. He's not coming back, lad. I'm serious. That's actually one you with a body. It's only badly hurt. You apothecary it. You need the body. Oh, Lord. One die in at Paxton. Right into his poor giblets. And he is down. Heroic vandalism. And Paxton, of course, is staying now. Yes. Oh, my tenders. Yep. Poor bear. Why is he a certain panda bear I know? All right. Here we go. Charging in. And again, a push. Hasn't used a single reroll. This is starting to get to the point that he might have to start greeting. And by greeting, he's going to have to actually start trying to make something happen here. Because again, it's now 7 on, well, let's face it, 11. It's like calls for the Slurpee, doesn't it? All right, one die, gets the push. Guess what? Sweet bugger all. Waiting orders. You know, you're going to be waiting orders all fucking day. Meanwhile, lucky push there. That was a smart bit of play. It forced him to follow up. Guess what? It actually worked. Yeah, people forget that. You can choose not to use Fend. It worked. Didn't work the way he planned, but it did indeed work there. Measure the coach. Oh, well, down he goes. How the blood-soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. Clearly. Meanwhile, turn six here. The peons and Griff marching calmly down the field here. Now, admittedly, wouldn't this be a disaster if they didn't score? Yeah. I, I'm not trying to jinx it, lads. Absolutely not trying to jinx it here. But wouldn't that be a bloody disaster? Oh, God. They're going to put one right into his poor kinkies, isn't they? Oh, his tenders are going to fail this one in the morning. Uh, are we going to see a Griff Blitz finally? Griff has just been strutting. There we go! Is he gone? Oh dear. That's KO, alright. Witness your doom! Yeah, and you have noticed Ed has not even reached for his card on this game here. He is clearly cheering for the underdogs. Not a single call on any of this. Meanwhile, Griff just running escort here. Calm, precise. You know, you think he's inspired these peasants to be something greater. Peons. <laughs> this is it now. Finally, no more wasting time. This is it. This is all it comes down to. This is the Kislev season. He makes the leap. <laughs> he got him too. We are being attacked. Oh, my Lord. You can hear the scream up from here. And they definitely have to apothecary that one. Unbelievable. Yep, he's finally found a way to crack the in almost invincible dirt armor. And suddenly, Kislev is threatening to stop the score here. But they're out of players. They're down to only six players. Mind you, this is not the first time Kislev has actually been in the situation of being down players. They were down to two in the game that got them here. So, uh, nothing new, is it? <laughs> Meanwhile, there we go. Solid kick takes the poor bastard down here. Peasants going to cover their balls. You know, what else do you expect? All right, Griff. Really? <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Yeah, fine. He's got the ball now. See, he's got it. He finally got it. Got to re-roll that on the loader, and there's the foul! Settle it in Smash! Oh, it's settled in Smash, alright, and there is another KO! Alright, 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 Constable Ed's finally had enough of that. He has to call one. It's fair, absolutely fair, he finally has to call that one. Alright, Kislev, this is the spirit we have seen from this team. Where are we going? Oh, Lord, that he didn't want to fail. He's going to have to re-roll that one. 
Yep, full speed ahead. This is it. Scary as it is. He's trying to get this player freed up. There's the knockdown. This is it. The miracle. He's already made one. Can he make a second one? Just a push. Gets the fen. Knocks him over there. But does he choose to follow up? Yes, he does. It's a good spot to be in. Next leap. He makes it. Does he make the dodge? Yes, he does. His life has done the best he can there. I'll be late for breadline. Yeah, you're gonna be late for the breadline for a long time here. Tagged for extinction. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Message for you, sir. Yeah, that was a message for you, all right. It's a fireball. Uh, look at this. He peels the cage away there. I will look for you. I will find you. Yeah, he's done it. The lad has done it. 1 0. Well, Bretonians indeed are on the board. No surprises there. Griff has done his job. Recovers the ball from the poor peasant. Maybe a bit above his station there. As you can see, one ejection here. The Bretonians, though, easily have this one stacked up for Bear. Not really, there's a Bear right there. As for the Kislev, a precious casualty. They chose not to apart the carry it. Now, like I said, it's badly hurt. I would have apothecaried it. I'm dead serious. I would have apothecaried that. You need the body. And the KO stays off. Kislev coming in with nine players. Not the like I said, not the first time they've been down. Ready for meltdown. Well, trust me, the dwarves had a meltdown all right in their match versus the Kislev there. And that's why the Kislev are here. Like I said, it's a compliment to the coach. Never gave up. Well, now he needs a second miracle, lads. He needs a second miracle, apparently. Yeah. Let's face it here. The Peasants and Griff have been doing an extraordinary season. Uh, as we said in review, this is match day 23 in a long quest for the silverware. They only need one more. Oh, Lord, there's the rock. There it is. I knew this would happen. Sid is open fire. Shenanigan! 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 Yep, there's a stun, and there's a second stun right there. Yep, once again, the crowd is loving it there. No, I absolutely agree with that one there. That was a big mistake. Boom, Jackawaka! Here comes the sun. Fortunately, no casualty on the hit there. I, I'm being counted. At this point here, Kislev needs casualties. They have an enormous problem. They need to get back into it there. And right now, that fail, that puff carry not used on the badly hit is coming back to haunt them. They need every player on the pitch for this one here. And maybe feel a bit of cockiness there. Meanwhile, charges in. This is what the scary part is. Look at this. Kizler's got two rerolls left there. They've got two. And there goes one. Yeah, what's that? Would you like to try again? There we go. He's got the ball, but he certainly isn't scoring there. Would you like to go for cheese pollution? Indeed, he will. I can't see through flak! And there we go, we're going into halftime there, lads! Your halftime score, it is 1-0 for the Bretonians and Griff. This halftime course is brought to you by Nicotine Cigarettes. Remember, Nicotine Cigarettes. It's got that smooth taste, expected mother's crave. Nicotine Cigarettes. Uh, they pay the bills, lad, they absolutely pay the bills. Yeah, I know, Grim. That actually was a real ad. That's what's so terrifying, isn't it, there? Yeah, sometimes I do use that for the exchange. All right, quick review here. Everyone's reloaded the rerolls here. Oh, this is costing them. This is really costing them here. Nine on 11. As you see here, the peasants and Griff have locked everything up here. This is a much score. 
Uh, there's really no doubt about it here. This is a must score drive. Griff spots it ten of Is that a thing? Really? You know, all I got a sneaky submission. Griff wants to play with a different set of turnips. Yep, yeah, exactly. All right. Kislev, this is your season, lads. There's the kick. Oh, look at this. Free reroll for Griff's crow. Yeah, indeed, that was what they wanted. Two rerolls, not what you want them to have there. Strength to strength to strength. Oh, well, here they come. Kislev, not, like I said, not the first time they have been down players having to fight back. Chooses not to use the fend. And there we go, Frenzy. Yeah, gets the knockdown. Still cannot get an armor break. Here comes the bear. Full speed ahead. Too nice. Has the block. Gets the knockdown. Cannot get anything else there. For Mother Russia. Has Griff preoccupied? This is one hell of a gamble here from Kislev. This is this is it. It's all here. Makes the easy pickup. He's going to guard his balls. It's the lesson he's learned from Mother Russia. He's got no choice there. Another big kick. Finally. There goes the neighborhood. That is the most important KO of the game for the Kislev. Absolutely. But it's just a peasant. He needs it. It finally makes the numbers 10 on, well, 9 on 10. Should have been 10 on 10, shouldn't it? God, is that going to come back to haunt him? We will find out indeed. All right. Bretonians and Gr Oh, my lord. Double skulls into the bear. Takes Paxton down, though. You know what to do. That big fat Your pain shall be legendary. Yeah, his pain is legendary there. Why do you keep hitting them with the tenders? Poor bear. I feel bad for the bear. That's the second punch the tenders. Oh, there we go. You want to punch the tenders? Work complete. Now here's the boot to the tenders. And there he goes. Poor bear. Yeah, there he is. He's got... Oh, now the apothecary. Finally, the apothecary shows up just to keep the bear on the pitch. That is a huge, desperate move there by the Kislev, and you can tell why. Don't play with matches. They need removals. They are not getting them, and here they come. Kislev, full speed ahead. They, there's no stalling on this drive here. They have to put everything in here. They only have nine players left on the pitch. Oh, God, don't they wish they could give the play ball to him? AG4, he has been well and truly crippled this entire season, but he is one of the veterans. He has come this far. And frankly, this coach is more surprised than anyone else he survived that far there. Get me out of here! Yeah, that is the opinion being shared by most of the Kislev team right now, Kislev. No, this one is looking brutal. Push me, push you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, the drive does continue here. Bretonians and Griff continue their relentless assault. The Bears getting another one in the tenders. I'm saying this now, he's getting another one. Here comes Griff, he's doing it. And good lord, yes, he has indeed done it. Yep, yeah, Griff has saved all fucking season. For the hit to round the season. And there it is. Not only an injury, but pops the ball free. Absolutely a miracle has been done. And his name is Panda. Uh, Griff! 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 Uh, yeah, we're going to have to work on that one. We really are. Oh, well, Panda's going to love that one. All right, Kislev. Your entire season has now come down to this. Boom! Conscript reporting. Clearly it's a cold script. Well, the bear moves down, but the problem is, again, it's only a stun. Uh, this is becoming the tale of the game here. It really is. All this, he's done one KO. And one ejection which you expected by this point here. All right, the blows, flurry of them. Let's make an oasis of death. Well, that's what they love to do at this point, but all they're getting is stuns. 
And the Bretonians, meanwhile, AV7, turret power, unfucking believable. One die, there's the hit, gets the knockdown, it's just nothing. Oh, well, there we go, Miracle Leap, because you can see right now what's going on in there to the Kislev. They need to save the season. All right, Bretonians, let's see what they can do here. It's amazing what you do with a pair of fives, as the old saying goes. Ask him, he probably knows what that means. All right, here we go, two dice. Big punch down here. He's not too worried about the removal. Good lord, when did he get proud? What, are you trying to promote him to Yeoman? Is that his ultimate goal? I shouldn't ask, I really shouldn't. Meanwhile, not a good solid punch there. It takes another one of the old Kislev linemen down. And here comes it. There he is, Brit. He does it. Good lord. Where's he been saving this all fucking season? Uh, it, it literally is. He saved it all season. And now he's got the ball. He's gone. Oh my lord. I don't think you're going to stop this guy anytime soon. Impressive. Uh, it is. This is the guy. Oh! Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. He's dead. He's dead. Dig a little roll of it. The Paxton Bear is dead. Dead. Thrift of life. It rests in pieces. It is gone. Gone. Someone's getting laid tonight, isn't he? Yep. And there he goes running. You are witnessing a miracle here, lads. You are witnessing a bloody season long miracle. Fantastic. <laughs> and that is it. The Kislev. There's nothing left. There is nothing left in the tank here. The Peons are clearing the sheet. Another hit. And they take another one down. Destroyed. Fortunately, it's just a stun. I think the shock is starting to set in at this point here. The peasants just keeping everyone else scrummed here. You know, they can foul to the hot content at this point here. They really don't care. Two dice gets the hit, gets the takedown. Is there anything left here? Now, the Kislev can go burning out. Oh, here it is. As predicted, they can foul to the hot content. Boy, that one had to smart right in the tenders again. Oh well, he's gone for a while. You may fire when ready. Kislev, the miracle. I hear and obey. Well, they're gonna try. Pulls ready. Yeah, well, unfortunately, he's just found the gerbil not once but twice. Moving. No, you're not. Well, he's twitching at least. That says something. Walk the turn 13. You know it's over, but it's turn 13. It is a formality here. Mind you, this is why you absolutely love the Bretonians. They know it's a formality. And that's why they're going to play every single turn. Because ask the Kislev. When a team thinks it's just a formality and lets off the gas pedal. Well, that's why Kislev's here, isn't it? Not joking. This is why Kislev has earned the place here. Their opponent let off the pedals. Peasants being very careful here. Yes. How about you? How are you feeling, Sunshine? Panda! Fucking stupid! Shut up! Yeah, well, I wouldn't shut up about that one there. Yep, he's going to feel that one in the morning right there. And that is another removal. I can't believe he's even bothering calling these now. There's no point. He knows it. He sees it. Zero reason to call a penalty. Absolutely none. Kislev gets back up. Nope, Kislev is refusing to quit this one. This is why we love him. Conscript reporting. I'm serious. This is why we love this coach. Any other coach would not him. He earned it. Every step of the way getting here. No one tell you otherwise. He 100% earned his place here. Final four. Uh, it's just such a hell of a way to go down, go down here to a bunch of peasants. Oh, and Griff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, at least I understand he will be signing three autographs there for the Kislev crew, and that is bonny fine by them there. Peasants, of course, being very smart here, not taking a chance. They're going to throw a couple of 
Uh, relatively safe blocks from their viewpoint here. Push me, push you. How about you, the loner? He's done his best. A fine chain of loners. And down he goes. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yay for murder. He's not murdered yet. Working on it though. He is working on it. Push me, push you. And then we have another good hit there. Oh, we're going for the blitz. All right. Two dice. Does get the pow. Does he get him? Ah, he's still alive. That's saying something over here. Two dice. God, when they all fall right. All right, time for a foul. Maybe, maybe not. Yep, there it is. There's the big score. Griff has done it again. Fair enough for the fanfare. They've definitely earned it. What a season for this Cinderella team. And Griff. Yeah. Oh, well, the Russians actually do get one. Yay, that's all they needed. This gun is heavy. Yeah, it's been heavy all day, Sunshine. It's been heavy all day. Well, there it is. The remaining Kislev squad. Beautiful as it is, they are not going to quit this one. They are going to see, can they score it? Yep, this is pride, lads. This is 100% pride. Push me, push you. Oh, Lord, the power of Frenzy goes into the Frenzy trap. Has the block, gets the takedown. Well done. No rest for Soviet woman. And he makes the GFI, and he's on his way here. Yep, Kislev may just get some pride back. That's what you salute him, lads. Like I said, he did his way here. Here comes the sun. Would you like to try that again? Yes, there we go. Makes the leap. Well done. Now the next lad needs to make his leap. And he makes it. Ties a few players up. Here we go. Three for three. Well done, lad. Well done. Where are we going? Somewhere. You are going somewhere. He doesn't know where, but he's going somewhere. He's helping the end zone. Yes, this is the uncharted frontier. It really is. Like I said, there's no shame the way this one's gone here. There's no shame. It really came down to numbers. Key thing is, oh god, the man is at it again, and he's gone and got another knockdown. Ball goes flying free in the crowd there. Free wood for the kids there. Crowd throws it back there. Free signature from Griff on that punch there. Uh, I think he's helping the lad up there. Just, it was a formality. He had to knock him down. No armor break. It's just a formality at this point here. Ah, uh, yeah. They're continuing on. Push me, push you here. We are looking at history here. Oh, well, there we go. Wrestle takes everyone. Oh, uh, well, we know it's foul coming up, probably. Two dice. Push me, push you. Yep, he's going to make it a block. Oh, well, jolly good lad. Yep. They still have their one reroll. They haven't used it. They always use the freebie, and that is it. That is reroll management in a nutshell. All right, lad goes to get the football. Didn't think he was going to get it there. No, oh, well. Not everybody can actually handle their balls. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, this is where we love kids live here. Turn 16. Anyone else would fold? Not this player. He's going for Griff. There's the push. There's the fence. For Romanov. Moves up. Yep. Yeah, Lotus is going to take a crack at him if the little layer can get there. Yes, he does. Makes the leap. Well done. Moves into position here. Yep. Yeah, Lotus is going to take a crack at him, lads. One die. He got him. <laughs> he got him. He's still alive, though. Flak attack. Oh, well. Couldn't kill him. Did try. If he had more players, he would have fouled him to death at this point here. 
Oh, well, there's the wrestle there, boy. The peasants, peasants playing out their last turn into history here in the BBPN here. Charges around, goes for the blitz here. Does get the knockdown. Well done, lad. Well done. Well, he's working on it there. I broke your stupid crap, moron. That's how it sounds like, and he fails the pickup. Does he want to try it one more time? And he drops his balls. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Yeah, what a lovely day that indeed was. There it is, lads. Your final score. Marching on to the finals. No one would have predicted this at the beginning of the season, but there they are. Defenders, the Bretonians and Griff are going to the finals. Does he have one last game in him? We are going to find out later on this week. As for Ra Ra Rasputin, you know, like I said, heroic coach, he just finally, he was out of magic in his pants. Absolutely out of magic. But he's got nothing to be ashamed of. Final four. He did it all the way here. And now we're going to have to wait to see who is the last team heading there for the silverware. Well, I can tell you this. My sister is definitely very pleased. Indeed she is. Yep, Griff. <laughs> You're getting your just reward later tonight. As for the rest of you, Nuffle, bless your dice.